So Jason Isbell has weighed in on Oliver Anthony's Rich Men North of Richmond with one of my favorite takes yet. He said, Buddy, there's a reason you just don't jump in the fucking pool. There's something there, but that's a song you should have written when you were 16, and then when you were 19, you should have rewritten it without that part about hating people on welfare. And then when you were 20, you throw the whole thing out and you write another song. Now, I know what a lot of people are going to say. Why would he throw away a song that got 80 million views, man? That song went mega viral. That song resonated with the American people. And besides, who's this Jason Isbell guy? Man, I ain't never heard of him. When you say shit like that, it's really not the flex that you think it is. What it tells the rest of us is that you don't actually care about music. Because if you did, you would realize that some of the best American music that's ever been made is being made right now as we speak. And it's happening probably right in your hometowns, and you don't know about it because you spend all day riding around your pickup truck, listening to modern country radio, and bitching about how bad it is. You do nothing but bitch and moan about how bad country is. You've got the exact moment country music died for you. It died 20 years ago. It died 30 years ago. It died in 1987 on a Friday at 4 p.m. And then when people like me says, hey, have you ever heard of a guy named Jason Isbell? You go, I ain't never heard of him. Well, you ought to go check him out. Well, is he on the radio? No? Well, then I ain't heard him then. Okay, so if you hate radio, if radio's what you hate, then why is it that you use radio as the measuring stick for success? It seems like that you would want to go outside the radio if you hate it so much. It seems like if you actually cared about music, you would want to dig a little deeper and find other things. But instead, you just sit back and you continue to listen to the same shit over and over and do nothing but bitch and moan about it. It reminds me of another quote that Isabel said several years ago. I'm paraphrasing here, but he said, I hate to break it to y'all, but Nashville didn't ruin country music. He said, there, there's a whole lot of good burgers in this town. No one is forcing you to eat McDonald's. And I can't count the times that there have, has been a really good music festival happening in my own backyard, right in, right in the, the county I grew up in. And people would drive past it to go to a bigger city to watch a mainstream artist that they heard on the radio and wouldn't take part in that festival because, well, I ain't never heard of none of them people. I ain't never heard of none of them. I ain't heard them on the radio. So I'm going to go down here and listen to this shit that I really don't even like in the first place, but I'm just taking them so my wife can stare at this dude in his skinny jeans. And I'm going to come back bitching about how bad it sucked. And meanwhile, there was great American music being played right in my own backyard. The thing about Oliver Anthony is he got struck by lightning. I mean, he did. He, he got struck by lightning. He skyrocketed to the moon. And he did. He jumped right into the fucking pool. But if Oliver Anthony had just been another dude down at the pub with his guitar playing, all you that's thumping his chest and all you that's riding, riding on his bandwagon, you would have drove right past him and you would have went on down to the big city to see Jason Aldean or Luke Bryan and you'd have come back and said, oh, Oliver, we're sorry we missed you down there at the pub, buddy. We're sorry we missed you. A wife wanted to go down there and see Luke Bryan dancing around. I went down there, man, it sucked. But yeah, I've been meaning to come check you out, man. I'm going to check you out sometime. What you don't realize when you say this shit like, I ain't never heard of Jason Isbell, and boy, I love this Oliver Anthony, it tells me that you're nothing more than a bandwagon rider. That you're somebody that just jumped on the bandwagon, and you're using the song to punch down. Just like the song punched down to people on welfare, now you're using it to own the libs to be part of this moment. Like, oh, look, liberals, we got you. We got 80 million views, and we never heard of this guy. But let Oliver Anthony say one little thing. Let him say one little thing like that a black life matters or like that a gay person should be allowed to breathe. And then suddenly, the 80 million followers will drop like flies. I hope Oliver Anthony knows that. Maybe that's why he dances around so hard and tries to stay in the middle when someone asks him where he stands on things. Maybe he realizes deep down that if he ever actually voiced his opinion like a Jason Isbell, then he necessarily wouldn't be the mega viral superstar or whatever the fuck he is. But when you guys come at me with, you know, oh, he got 80 million views, I don't know who Isbel is. It, all it tells me is that you don't know music and you don't love music and you're just someone that wants to jump on the latest craze and the latest flash in the pan.